Okay, so this is gonna be a little flow of some stretches you can do for your lats, your chest, bicep, and the entire shoulder girdle. So what we're gonna do first, we're gonna work on those lats, especially from the lower lat all the way up to where it starts at the top of the humerus, which is your upper arm between your bicep and your tricep. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna reach back. Oh, also, door anchor's gonna be up top. You want the strongest band that you have. For me, this is the strongest band that I got. If you need more weight to support you, uh, you can actually attach more bands as you need to. So from here, uh, what we're gonna do, we're gonna be in a stance where my arm and my shoulder's gonna be right aligned with the anchor. I'm gonna move back so I get a lot of tension. I'm gonna feel it in my lats. I'm gonna sit my hips back and I'm gonna lean, almost move my hips into the side. If I'm missing a a little better. Oh, to right there so I can get a nice good stretch in here in my lats. I can have this arm leaning right against this other quad, give me some support as I lean back, nice good grip. We don't want to grip too hard because we want to activate the last bit to try to relax and just hang on tighter for you to not fall. So when I'm here and I feel like a nice good stretch, deep breaths hold, deep breaths allow you to get the muscles to relax even more so you can open them up in a nice good stretch. This is great to do after you form all your lats. Uh, and your chest and your shoulders. So after this, once I feel like it's opened up enough to where I can't open it anymore, I'm then going to step back. Whatever hand is grabbing that the handle, that same side leg is going to scoot back and drop a knee. For this, I'm going to get a little closer. I'm going to poke my head through, look up to the ceiling. So now, what this does, and leave the other foot flat. What this does, I'm going to back a little more tension. It allows me to stretch the entire lap from the attachment point all the way down, right above my glutes, stretch my lower back, all the way to the top where it stretches here, and the top of my humerus. No problem, arm. And if I want more of a stretch, I can push off my heel, support with my hand, nice good stretch, just relax. Deep breath, hold for a few seconds. And slowly exhale. Much better. Good, and once I feel like I can't stretch it anymore, what I'll do next is hold it with that same arm. I'm gonna come up. I'm not gonna pull myself, I'm gonna come up on my legs. Wow, it feels nice and loose. So, what I'm gonna do next, for a I can go this way for you, I'm gonna come this way, you can see a little better. So, with that same, same arm, that same set of legs is gonna go forward. I'm gonna lean onto that foot. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna stretch my chest now, and my shoulder, and my bicep, as I lean forward. Now, if I wanna feel it even more, tilt the palm up. Do it easy though, nice and easy controlled. Don't go too quick because you'll definitely feel it. Little micro movements are gonna mean a lot when you do this. So, take your time. There we go. Nice, good deep breaths. Focus on that muscle relaxing. Try to keep that balance too. Another thing too, if you're on fits, if you wanna feel a little more in there, if your grip starts to get tired, put it right through. Right in the curve of your elbow, behind your head, lean forward. It's gonna pull your elbow back. It's still gonna work on that chest without fatiguing your grip. Hand behind the head. Just get deep breaths. Okay, and there it is. That's a good stretch flow routine for opening up the lats, shoulders, and the chest. So give that a go after you're done formally.